You as a silver, gold, platinum, diamond, or ascendant player know nothing compared to a pro. Let's say you're taking the round slow on attack. You decide to push a lane, any lane. What would you do? Will you ask a teammate to come with you? Will you just push down alone? Well, let's just learn from the pros. Information from that while this TSM poke on it. Look at where the TSM players are positioned. Kao and Raze are A main. Killjoy is holding mid with her turn. And then we have Fade and Astra holding B long. This is called defaulting, my friends. You use this to get the enemies to waste their utility or to get a kill giving your team the man advantage. Th this looks like Trent and Valen want to re-explore in here. Oh, oh wow. that's so much Good damage. Day. Damn, oh, great nade. Trade. That's so Oh, oh my oh, what? Got so he gets in another shot, he gets more pain shells. <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Raze and Ko decided to contest A main together. Notice how Ko immediately swung and fought as soon as the Raze made contact. Once the Ko joined the fight, Raze took the opportunity to throw a grenade at the enemies. Even though Ko died, Raze was still able to find value in her grenade by getting two kills. Ko's last words were, please. Hit that like button. Another thing to notice is why Raze decided to peek far and Ko decided to peek close. The reason is Raze had a ghost, which is better for long range. Ko had a frenzy, which is better for close range. While Raze and Ko were fighting a main, notice how Killjoy remained safe, not peeking mid, and allowing her turret to protect her. This is how you play default. <gasps> beta, it's beta Raze. Wait, why did Valen die there? There was a he, smoke he could have crossed away. He just got stuck in the corner, I think. I think he turned yeah, off his the brain access. He's just way the Here, we see Raze walking back towards top mid. As Raze is walking back, Killjoy takes the time to walk up double doors through mid. If Killjoy is contested by an enemy, he has to win his gunfight. If Raze gets swung by this enemy KO, he will need to win his gunfight in order to keep the advantage. Sometimes in Valorant, the only thing you need to do in order for your plans to work out is to win your gunfights. Especially when you have a great setup as we see with TSM. This setup tells me that the team is planning to perform a B split. The Raze and Killjoy will push double doors and the Asher and Fade will push down B long. Oh, you tried to dodge. <laughs> Yay, thought he'd get out of the way. Jeez. On for the ace on the yeah. first round again. Okay. Now, we can expect for TSM's plan to work since Raze won her gunfight against the KO mid. For extra safety, Raze decided to throw her second grenade into Art, just in case there was another enemy attempting to trade KO. This kill on the enemy KO caused the enemy jet to rotate over to the B bomb site, since the enemy KJ most likely called out that the Astra and Fade were holding the top of B long. I got Corey was locked in. Only player in the tournament so far with an ace. Well, I mean, yeah. let's not forget that Trent course. was pretty locked in last <laughs> night. Okay, guys, pay close attention here. I guarantee 80% of you guys don't coordinate your split pushes like this. We aren't going to see one side pushing before the other. Both sides go in as soon as Fade throws her eye to reveal the locations of the enemy players. Coordinated plays are the best plays. It's true. Our boss. Good day to cool off though, you know? Yeah, it's true. Ah, this was poor angle clearing by the Fade, and here's why. Fade threw his eye here. This Fade eye will reveal anything peeking from under heaven and behind generator. The angles that an enemy could swing him from are the front of generator, deep CT, or heaven. It looks to me that the Fade expected the enemy to swing out of CT, but was able to flick over to the tucked enemy Killjoy, taking the gunfight with her teammate Astra. Oh. 1v3? Ace on the pistol rounds has always planted. been good too today. Net yeah, was on Did they go fire four on pistols, one, by the way? Against Sentinels. Josh, Wait. you and I were talking about Net, right? Uh, yeah. They Net a really good day one. Yeah, Net did look really good day one. I mean, we've only seen him just, you know, miss a couple of classic shots. Yeah, so yeah. It's not like that's a complete indictment of his skill. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying it's very important for him that day. And to finish everything off, the enemy jet had no other choice but to push into the smoke to try to work for some kills. He managed to get one, but Killjoy was holding the angle with a turn and was able to trade out the race. My friends, ask yourself this question. Do you try this hard in your rank games? 
I'm not saying to try to come up with insane big brain complicated strats within your rank games. I'm trying to teach you how important the fundamentals of first person shooters are. Communicate, play together, and keep it simple. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment on what you learned in this video. Honestly, till next time, deuce deuce everyone.